Has anyone noticed how children always seem to say, why don't people just get along? They do, don't they? Why don't everybody just get along? And that's, that's actually, uh, is an interesting idea. Why don't people get along? And it's basically, when you think about it, you can say, oh, well, it's humanity. We just can't get along. We have to war and fight and things like this. But I have seen many people in my time, and it doesn't seem that the people I know spontaneously create wars. It doesn't seem that they get together and say, let's get a great big gang and fight this other gang. It doesn't seem to happen. It needs certain people to do this. Uh, and that's the thing. Why, do, why does it happen? And I suppose really it's because it's easier to control people if they're fighting. You know what I mean? If we're all fighting each other and we don't get together, we can't see what's actually going on. Just all I'm saying is, uh, can you actually say that any of the really evil things in the world are down to you? No. And yet they happen. And yet a lot of the mass evil things that happen. People do because they say, well, I was, I was following orders. They told me what to do. And I did it because it was my job. And is that really a reason? You know? Uh, is that what you want to go down in history as? The guy who said, well, I did this because somebody told me. You know? Because that's not better. That's in a morally better position than some guy, the guy that told you to do it. Because he maybe had an ideology. He might have actually thought he was doing the right thing. But to just do it because somebody tells you is worse. So think, how many of the people you know do major terrible acts of violence? Do you really know anyone? You know, like any cause of the war or anything en masse. So how do these things happen? They must happen because of the structure of civilization, how it's being put together. And yet when we think about it, if you mention changing anything, Changing the system. People go mad. Oh, you can't change the system. It's the system. You cannot beat the system. The system. We have to have the system. But if this system is causing wars and hatred and it's causing, you know, all the really terrible things, causing people to starve, you know, and people do without water. How the hell do people do without water? Two thirds of the surface of the earth is water. Okay, it's salt water. You know what? You can remove salt from water. How the hell can people be uh, dying of thirst? It makes no sense. Why is it? Because it is the system. That's right. The system you are protecting, that everyone wants to protect, is causing people to die of thirst, die of hunger, all of these things. Because nobody is prepared to say, you know what? We need a different system. We need to make some changes. And I'm not saying, you know, get rid of this population. I'm just saying, think about why is it this way? You know, can we not pipe, uh, pipe some water from there to here? Can we not just pipe it round? Should we not just make it so everyone gets this amount? That's your basic level for everyone in the world. You've got this basic level where that's it and you can't fall below there. You know, or to motivate people as they're not away. Why not? But I know you're looking at me and you think the same thing I'm thinking is that is how do I as a person do that and you're right I, I don't know how to do it I'm just an individual like you are I'm no different from you in, in many ways to be honest how does it happen but that's the thing maybe we shouldn't just do things because somebody tells us maybe we should sometimes say is this right do I actually want to do this maybe we should sometimes say this isn't right this is wrong Maybe we should even get together and say, you know what, this is evil and we don't want to do it. Because if we do that, there won't be any large scale evil in the world. Because they depend on us, the system depends on us to do it. That's right, it depends on us as it's, basically as it's uh, foot soldiers to kill each other, to do terrible things to each other, to allow other people to starve. It allows us to do these things so it works. And yet... Whoever set this system up, there's not a single person alive that did it. Whoever set it up like this, thousands of years ago, some, some king probably thought, this seems logical. He thought, well, if I do this, they'll fight amongst themselves and then it'll work great. The man who set the system up is dead and gone thousands of years ago. Th th there's no person like that anymore. People have added on to it, added on to it. But at some point, we need to think for ourselves. It's not evil to think for yourself. It's not. It's logical. Logical to decide for yourself what you do, what you don't do, to question things, and, you know, 
don't join in on mass evil, mass scale. You know? If someone's doing something online, everyone's having to go to this one person, don't join in. You know why? Because you could be the person that makes the difference between that person living or that person committing suicide. That's the, that's the reality. The only thing all the other ones are doing, you can't really control that, but you can control what you do. You control what you do and say, you know what? I'm not going to join these arse wipes that are having to go to this person for no reason, or the people that are doing this. You control what you do. You have to take back your own power and do what you believe is right.